You don't want to be kicking your date over to the next table because you are funky. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're new, thanks for watching. Welcome to the family. And if you're returning, of course, welcome back. Love is in the air. Valentine's Day is coming up. We're less than a week away from Valentine's Day. And I know a lot of people are having some first date jitters and things like that. So I just wanted to do a video on 10 things I keep in my purse to make me feel prepared when I'm going on a first date. So if you want to know what I keep in my purse and what uh most women should have some of these things in here. Keep on watching. Okay, I do wanna start off by saying that this list is in no particular order. Um, It's not like a best and a worst type thing. It's just 10 things that I have or that I might have in my bag when I'm doing a first date. But um, I am gonna kind of like section it off as in like general makeup and just like safety stuff too. So starting off with number one, I like to keep Tide pens in my bag. Um, I'm clumsy. <laughs> I'm super clumsy. I am known to spill stuff on myself and that is not cute for a first date. That's not how you impress someone. So keeping a Tide pen in your bag is always a good look. It's always a good move because if you do happen to spill something really quick, at least you're not stuck with that stain and reminder for the rest of your night. Hopefully you can catch it before he catches it, but you know, it's always good to have. The second thing I keep in my bag is deodorant. Now this might be a little different for some people but not exactly that I tend to sweat that much but just in case you start feeling like you're sweating a little bit you don't want to be kicking your date over to the next table because you are funky no so I do keep deodorant like one of those little mini deodorants or the dove deodorant spray just to keep myself fresh just to keep myself feeling secure and confident because as soon as you feel uh like you might be funky a little bit, you know, your confidence starts to waver and that's not something that you need to worry about on a first date. So I do like to keep a deodorant in my purse as well. But you know, even if I'm not sweating, just go in the bathroom, make sure that you have that extra layer. Keeping in line with hygiene, the next thing that I like to keep is like wipes baby wipes, something like that. Um, obviously, if you have a small bag, you could just put it in like a Ziploc bag. But again, when you think that you might be a little bit uh, not as fresh, <laughs> then you can just go wipe yourself off a little bit and just like i said previously make sure that you are smelling your best because guys love just like women love when a woman smells good okay so for the last of the general items i like to keep hair accessories in my purse when i say hair accessories i mean bobby pins a uh, hair tie scrunchies stuff like that just in case you have like a rogue hair that just doesn't want to go in place if you need to put your hair up because the wind is too crazy stuff like that i like to stay prepared and have a couple of hair ties or scrunchies or or bobby pins in my purse just for hair emergencies honestly you don't know what's gonna happen i don't i don't go and keep like lace glue in my purse even though I'm, i probably should but i would hope that your wig is secured before you go on this date really it's just the accessories that i keep in my purse especially if i'm carrying something you know a small purse so moving on to the next thing is perfume i absolutely love those uh scent box scent bird type of perfumes those are so freaking perfect to keep in your purse and freshen up throughout the night i actually think i have one so let me go grab one okay yeah so here is one from scent box you just go like this twist it and the perfume comes out and go like that this one is ysl libre they have a bunch of high-end you know luxury name brand perfumes this is not sponsored or anything i actually buy this i actually have the subscription or you can use like you know those little roller balls that you got at sephora something like that just keep it in your purse and reapply don't overdo it <laughs> Don't overdo it, don't go crazy, but you know, just spritz, spritz, freshen up, keeping in line with smelling fresh. For my beauty girls, for my makeup girls, for my girls that love to glam, if you don't know this, do it now. Keep some lash glue in your purse. It's not cute, and my brother has told me personally that it is not cute when you look at someone and you're fluttering, 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 and your lash is just going all the way over there. <laughs> like I have been, uh, I have been a victim of that, I guess. 
if I didn't apply my lash right, if I was, you know, uh, rushing when it was time to get ready and I didn't get it in. And you always see that like that little corner that doesn't want to stay down just in case I keep lash glue in and I might just pop that whole thing off and put the whole thing back on in the, in the bathroom and no one would ever know the wiser. But I definitely do think it's a good idea to keep it and it's small enough that it's not really a big deal to have it in your purse. Next up is lip gloss, lipstick. You know, a lot of these lip glosses and lipsticks and stuff like that are now much better with keeping its color, keeping its pigment. But after a whole day, after a whole night, after eating, drinking, a lot of times they still do move. So I do, I always definitely keep the color that I'm wearing on hand in addition to a mirror so that I can reapply really quickly and make sure that I still look good throughout the entire date. The whole point of this video is to make sure that you look good and you feel confident through your entire date and having these things can definitely help you do that. Okay, so this next one is, uh, could be a precaution. I, I know women are now going out on dates and they are paying for the date. If I'm going on a first date, I do not expect to pay for it, but just in case they say they don't have the money, they need extra money, uh, or it's not going well and you just wanna get up out of there, I like to keep cash or a card so I can pay for myself and I do not feel obligated to this person afterwards. You shouldn't feel obligated anyway, but if the date is really not going well and you don't wanna hear nothing about it later, like, oh, I'll, throw that cash on the table and be out, you know? So I like to keep cash, I like to keep card. I make sure that wherever I go, whatever we have planned, I can at least cover myself and I don't feel any kind of way after that, you know? I, I wanna make sure that I can cover myself, plain and simple. I don't wanna go anywhere, especially on a first date and I don't know what type of man this may be. He might seem like he got money, but he could be cheap AF, so. Just make sure that you have yourself covered. Like I said with the previous item about not knowing who this person is, if you watch You on Netflix and you know about Joe, if you watch The Tinder Swindler, you do not know who these men are, especially if you're meeting them online, but you don't know who these men are and what they are capable of. So always keep your safety in mind. I would suggest having like, maybe a mace or pepper spray or something like that. If your city allows it, have a taser. You know, it depends on how big your purse is and it depends on how public you are, but I would always suggest just have something on you to make yourself feel safe. Maybe like a little knife, something to make sure that you're okay at the end of the day because you don't know, anybody could be anybody and it could be the most charming person and you always wanna make sure that you have your safety in mind. Do not get too intoxicated. Do not, you know, get too wild and crazy because it's, it's just setting yourself up to get taken advantage of. So make sure that you are taking these precautions, have, something on you that you can defend yourself some kind of way at least get away at least you know stall them so that you can make sure that your safety is in order on to the next thing have your id on you god forbid something does happen god forbid you get hurt having id means that they know who to contact in case something happens to you sorry i'm not trying to make this a downer this is all about love but at the same time you know what society is like now we are women in this world and we need to make sure that we keep our safety first okay last but not least i don't even know if this is 10 this might just be a bonus <laughs> but i would suggest keeping obviously everyone has their phone on you but keep your phone on uh with your Keep your phone with your location services on. I would suggest sending it to a couple of people. Remember, this is a first date. Send it to a couple of people so that they know where you are throughout the night. Make sure that you're communicating with friends and family and letting them know that you're okay. And like I said, God forbid something happens. If not, people can know where you are based on your phone if you have it on you. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope everyone has a wonderful Valentine's Day, whether you're single and doing a Galentine's with your girlfriends or just treating yourself to something that you can be your own Valentine. You don't need someone to take you out. Take yourself out, okay? Um, if you're in a long-term relationship, do things to keep the spark. And if you're on a new budding relationship, I hope these tips helped you to make you feel more comfortable, secure and confident during your uh, first date. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know some things that you guys keep in your purses down below in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. Later.